What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Kamiyama Physical Therapy YouTube channel, where I present or make a video on clinical thoughts uh, on what I might be learning or what I see commonly in the clinic. So today, what we're going to talk about is a tight core, uh, especially during breathing. So what I notice a lot of times with people with back pain or neck pain or hip pains, a common thing that I tend to see are people that tend to tighten up the abdominals a little too quickly, even in their obliques or even in their uh, six back muscle. If you ever missed some of the rec uh, core exercises or core videos, just check them out in the description. So this is based on when the person is breathing, how they're not able to utilize the obliques or abdominals in a way that is enough. They activate it too fast or too much or they're too tense. So we're gonna go into the anatomy part of things and I'm gonna share this with you and just to give you some form of logical explanation. You really want to experience it, but I want you to just take a look at it. So if you guys see here, this is the complete anatomy uh, app here and you see the highlighted one are the obliques uh, just to give you uh, a sense of it. So the oblique muscles in the side of abdominal muscles attach to your rib bones and then attach to your pelvis. So in order to lengthen or shorten those areas is for those bones to become closer to each other and farther from each other. Now, in this particular context, we're going to talk about what, <clears throat> what we're kind of looking for when you are doing a breathing exercise that does include the obliques. So what I do see, and I'm going to actually now cut it to the cut it to me in a video on me demonstrating it is let's say you were taught to exhale all the way out and then get their obliques to turn up, which is possible. Like if you ever done a balloon breathing and try to blow into a balloon, you can feel your abdominals work. Now, the thing that I'm talking about here are people that activate their muscles, like their obliques so fast before their chest, let's say your lungs shrunk and then uh, let this area go down. So they just kind of pull from their abdominals a little too quickly. And what I tend to see from that is there, one, it's tensing, but it doesn't, because it doesn't allow the lungs and the intercostal muscles, the, rib, the muscles in the rib cage, to just bring it down and then allow the abdominals to work together, the abdominals probably activates a little too much and it doesn't allow things to flow as well. So what I will su suggest in this case is for some people, right? It's not for everyone is that I teach them to breathe all the way out, let that chest, the two, you know, right and left chest to shrink. Imagine their lungs are shrinking without the abdominals first. And once they feel like they've gotten this shrunk enough, then go ahead, you can engage the abdominals. And I think these things are happening because for people that have back pain or neck pain, it becomes a protective mechanism because in our, in our uh, often taught environments, we tend to think core is everything which is, uh, you know, I believe core is a really important thing, but I also do believe how, what, what is its role within the situation of we are as a human being. So for those that have not done this, for those that have kind of relate to what I do, give this a try, it may serve you, and I hope this was inform, uh, informative information. So I'll see you in the next video.